Welcome guys, today we will be comparing iPhone 13 Pro Max vs OnePlus 9 Pro vs iPhone 11, to see which one handles PUBG Mobile better, we will be doing these following tests, first one would be a speed test, and then a bootcamp test, and lastly the stress test. Starting off with the speed test to see which phone opens the game first. Looks like OnePlus took some time to start the game, while the iPhones are very smooth and fast. However the Krafton logo appeared first on the OnePlus 9 Pro, and I guess it may have the lead here, but what do you think, will the OnePlus beat iPhones in the speed test, or will the iPhones, never mind the iPhone 13 Pro Max destroyed the OnePlus 9 Pro here, and then the 2 year old iPhone 11, still managed to win against OnePlus 9 Pro, well let's have a big F for the OnePlus in the comments. And finally, the OnePlus 9 Pro loaded the game, just to be sure I did best out of 3 speed tests, and the results were the same, iPhone 13 Pro Max took 18 seconds to start the game, and the iPhone 11 took 23 seconds, while the OnePlus 9 Pro took 32 seconds, a massive win for the iPhones. I know a lot of you would be like loading screen time doesn't matter, it's just 10 to 15 seconds slower, well let's say, if you open the game 50 times, it would save you around 12 minutes with the iPhone 13, which is enough to play few TDMs. Anyway now let's see which phone enters in a match faster, just to be sure all these three phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi, and the Wi-Fi router is right here. Alright so we gonna do a custom room, and all three phones are in the same team as you can see here, starting in 3, 2, 1, and we will see which one enters in the match first. Ok so the iPhone 13 Pro Max is the clear winner here, but let's watch it in slow motion, to see which phone got second and third, looks like the iPhone 11 loaded the match second, and quickly following up by the One Plus. But the difference is actually very close. By the way, if you don't know how your teammates get assigned number 1, number 2 in your squad, it depends on the device, so whoever gets the number 1 in your squad, they will most likely have the most powerful device and the best internet connection. Since we are using the same Wi-Fi for all these three phones, let's focus on the device, so the iPhone 13 Pro Max got the number 1 spot in the squad, and the OnePlus 9 Pro got the second spot, while the iPhone 11 got the third place. But the crazy thing is, the iPhone 11 loads up the match faster than the OnePlus 9 Pro, you can clearly see it in the slow motion, however the OnePlus 9 Pro still manages to get the second place in the squad. So this shows us that OnePlus 9 Pro is more powerful than the iPhone 11, but is it really true? Let's find that in bootcamp test, so we have about 50 players in a custom room, and everyone will land in bootcamp. This will put the pressure on the phone's CPU and GPU, just to be sure every phone here are running at the same graphic settings, HDR Extreme with anti-aliasing set to 2 times. And if you are wondering 90 FPS is not available on OnePlus 9 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max yet, so that's why we are running at HDR Extreme. Anyway while landing in the bootcamp, I didn't notice any lag or huge frame drops, but I can confirm that there are few frame drops from 59 FPS to 50 FPS it's fluctuating. But on average I guess it's gonna be around 56 or 57 FPS, however I couldn't able to measure the iPhone's FPS, but I'm sure that iPhone 13 Pro Max is doing way better than the other two phones. And also let's talk about overheating issues, so you can easily observe that iPhone 11's screen got dimmer, that is due to overheating, and it's actually really hot, and OnePlus is also hot, but not overheated as the iPhone 11, and the newer iPhone 13 Pro Max is doing really well, it only got slightly warm. So let's move on to the next test, which is stress test, this is where we can put the phones to their maximum pressure. In this stress test we will make the phone render more than what it is supposed to do. So I have a Molotov cocktail in my hand, and I will quickly switch it to grenade and hold fire button at the same time, and you'll hear Molotov opening flame sound. However you'll be holding a grenade in your hand, and if you move you will see fire coming out from your character. You can repeat the process again and again by switching between low toss and high toss, and the fire opacity increases over time. For example, here is a side-by-side -side comparison of 1 stack versus 5 stacks plus increasing up to 25 stacks. You can clearly see the fire flame's opacity or brightness increases as you stack more. This means your phone requires to render more and more Molotov flames, and I saw Bumbum's video, he said if you stack more than 1000 your device will lag. 
So let's see how many stacks each phone can handle, starting with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Alright so we have the FPS counter at the top along with CPU and GPU usage, and let's skip to around 500 stacks to see the situation with FPS. So as you can see the FPS is dropping below 50 and it's fluctuating around 50. Also if you look at the CPU and GPU usage, they kind of increased, as if we compare to the starting, before stacking the Molotov's flames. And if we go over 1000 plus Molotov stacks, the FPS dropped below 30 and fluctuating around 20 FPS, so this clearly shows us that doing this Molotov stacks is processor intensive, and it actually heats up very quickly under 10 minutes. Normally if I'm playing normal games it would take around 40 to 50 minutes to heat up to the specific temperature. Alright let's repeat the same process with the iPhone 11. The results were almost the same it started having frame drops after 500 plus stacks. I don't have FPS meters, but I guess the FPS is fluctuating around 50 just like the OnePlus 9 Pro. However if we go over 1000 plus shacks, the iPhone 11 starts to have frame drops really bad, I'm assuming the FPS is below 20 and fluctuating around 20. It is very obvious that the iPhone 11 is the least powerful phone in this comparison, and it overheated really bad, and I'm guessing the iPhone 11's processor is throttling down performance due to the overheating, that's why it's lagging so bad. Moving on to the iPhone 13 Pro Max, so after 500 plus stacks the iPhone 13 Pro Max is still running really smooth, maybe the FPS is fluctuating around 55-56, and even after 1000 plus Molotov stacks the iPhone 13 Pro Max is keeping up really good, the FPS kinda feels like around 40-50ish, to 50 -ish. it didn't drop below 30 FPS unlike the other two phones. And the crazy thing is even after 2000 plus stacks the iPhone 13 Pro Max is running really well, didn't drop below 30 FPS, but the FPS is fluctuating especially when you jump. And this makes the phone heat up very quickly however it didn't heat up as hot as other two phones, just for fun, I put this phone in the freezer for a minute and took it out, surprisingly it's running the game really good. It feels like 60 FPS, even with HDR extreme graphics, but the vehicle sounds are gone. Anyway that's all I got for this video, I hope you find this video entertaining, and if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more upcoming videos like this, see you guys in the next one. Enjoy my bot gameplay.